1. Background Although both the Brussels Convention and the Brussels I Regulation contained jurisdiction rules in both contractual and non-contractual obligations, only the rules on the law applicable to contractual obligations had been harmonized under the Rome Convention. Once the Rome Convention had been completed, some progress was made towards negotiating a convention on the subject of applicable law in tort and delict. However, work was not concluded by the time the Treaty of Amsterdam came into force in 1999 and the project was postponed for a number of years. Somewhat later, the European Commission submitted a proposal for an instrument on the law applicable to non-contractual obligations and the resultant regulation, known colloquially as Rome II, was adopted on July 11, 2007 and applied as from January 11, 2009. 2. Scope of Rome II, Articles 1 and 2 The regulation deals with applicable law and non-contractual obligations in relation to civil and commercial matters. As with other instruments in this area, the scope does not include revenue, customs, or administrative matters. The intention is that between them, the regulations Rome 1 and 2 should cover all civil obligations, at least subject to these and the other exclusions from scope. As regards the territorial scope of the regulation, it applies in all the member states except Denmark. It should be noted that the rules also apply to situations where there is prospective liability such as in anticipated breaches of the law likely to give rise to delictual or tortious liability. Meaning of Non-Contractual Obligation Article 2 Article 2 sets out the meaning of non-contractual obligations for the purpose of the regulation. These comprehend the traditional categories of legal wrong within the compass of delict and tort. However, they also include obligations which in the past were not to be characterized as either delictual or contractual, such as unjustified enrichment, negotiorum gestio, or the right to recompense for expense incurred in performing voluntarily a service for someone, and obligations arising from the breach of contractual negotiations leading to loss incurred by a party who, in reliance on the negotiations, had incurred expense in anticipation of the contract by performing actions required under the contract, known as culpa in contrahendo. These last three categories of obligation are so specific that there are special rules for them in the regulation. Exclusions from Scope Article 1 Some areas of non-contractual obligations are excluded from the scope of the regulation, such as non-contractual obligations arising out of family or similar relationships, matrimonial property regimes, and trusts in succession. Also excluded are such obligations arising out of various commercial relationships, such as those in relation to bills of exchange and other negotiable instruments and company law matters. The subject of obligations arising out of nuclear damage is also excluded, as it is dealt with under broader international conventions and is in itself very controversial for certain member states. Of particular significance is the disapplication of the regulation to liability of the state for acts and omissions in the exercise of state authority. Finally, included within scope when the instrument was proposed, defamation and violation of rights of privacy and personality were excluded in the adopted instrument. 3. Scope of the Law Applicable Article 15 the law which is applicable under the rules of the regulation governs basis and extent of liability, grounds for exemption from liability, and any limit or division of liability, existence, nature, and assessment of damage or of the remedy sought, measures which a court can take to prevent or terminate injury or damage, transfer of a right to compensation for damage including by inheritance, the persons who are entitled to compensation for damage sustained personally, vicarious liability for the acts of another person, and extinction of an obligation by prescription, and the limitation of actions and interruption of periods of prescription and limitation. 4. Other provisions as regards applicable law and non-contractual obligations. As with the Rome 1 regulation, there are other significant provisions in the regulation dealing with certain specific issues in relation to the law applicable. 
These include also an article about the mandatory rules of the law of the forum dealing with the cases which are to be given effect irrespective of the law otherwise applicable. Other issues covered by special rules include a rule that rules of safety and conduct enforce when and where an event giving rise to liability occurred are to be taken into account and a rule whereby a person may rise an action direct against an insurer of the liable person so long as the law of the rules applicable to the non-contractual obligation or to the insurance contract allow. There are rules applicable to subrogation, multiple liability, and as to the formal validity of an act related to a non-contractual obligation. Finally, there are rules about the burden of proof, the place of habitual residence of legal persons and individuals acting in the course of a business, the exclusion of the application of Reinvoy as regards the rules of private international law of any country whose law is applicable under the regulation, the application of the regulation as regards states with more than one legal system, and the relations with other provisions in EU law and some international conventions.